Hey everyone, we're in the middle of the Bay Area and one of the things is obviously startups here. And we're with a new startup, Data Gravity. And Data Gravity is all in the world of where's your data, how can you make sure it's secure, and basically finding all those solutions that a lot of companies need. So we're here with Paula and John. Paula, you're the CEO and founder of, uh, of Data Gravity. Can you talk us a little bit through what Data Gravity does, what the benefits are for the customers that you're going to approach? Yep, so Data Gravity's mission is to take a storage container and actually shed light into it. So you can see the, the demographics of the data, you can see who's reading and writing the data, you can start to look and see, are you meeting the privacy laws? Do you have the right level of control? Can you find things? Can you surface things? Are you making the right asset utilization of your data? So do you have storage that's mostly videos or stuff that's never been read before? So that for the first time within your storage array, you can take that black box, look inside it, and make business decisions at all levels, improving IT, audit and compliance, and also end users. So it's pretty exciting. We've been, uh, we've been out of stealth mode for exactly a week, so we're flattered. We want to thank Tech Target. We want to thank the whole Data Gravity team um, that's comprised of people in uh, all kinds of geographies and all kinds of technologies, and so thank you. Oh, well, perfect. I, I think we're going to see a little bit more of, of what the software actually does, but I think you guys already won a couple of awards here at VMworld, right, in, in week one. So what does that feel like? So it's flattering to win awards. It's better to have happy customers. So we're going to measure our success on happy customers. And so come back when we have our thousandth, and you'll see us smiling and cheering. But this was very flattering, and we're very, very complimented by it. Perfect. So, John, uh, obviously we've got a one screen here. Can you show us what, what, what we see here and, and how customers can really use the product? Yeah, so the focus of the product is around storage visualization, being able to see the information around the data that you're storing on a storage system. And so uh, on this uh, part of the user interface, we're seeing a, a group of file shares and virtual machines uh, shown in uh, simple demographics so that you can basically get down to the file share that you want to get to and as you're mousing over that file share it gives you some uh, demographics about the data so for example for this file share who are the top users it identifies who the top users are by name and it gives you an understanding of how old the data is within that file share so that you can then make some decisions about what you want to do with that data um, if I were to go to a different file share it would show the information for that particular share uh, if I were to go to a virtual machine, same type of information. And if then I decided I wanted to learn more about that, I click on that share and up comes tag distribution. So as part of what Paula was talking about, the ability to uncover PII or personally identifiable information. In this case, there are six files with social security numbers embedded in them and one file with credit card information. We just violated a compliance uh, rule for our company. That somebody needs to know about that and take action to quarantine off that information. And, and so on and so, far, so forth, it's defining these things that it's found within the data because as Paula said, we're looking inside the data and we're surfacing this insight up. And now we look at some more of the demographics, so file distribution by size, and you can see that we've got some smaller files and uh, a, less, a lower frequency as they get larger. And here, file count by category, image, document, directory, and then looking at it over time. So not only do we see the content and the people that are interfacing with that content, we also look at it over time to see how things are changing by file type, by users, by file shares, and it allows people to then make decisions about anything we want. From this point, we get to drill down further and see anything that we would be interested in. So for, in this example, we're going to drill down and we're, also, we're actually going to be able to see all of the files that contain social security numbers in them. We can even open up that file, look inside it, see what the social security numbers are, and then take action. Perfect. So if I look at this correctly, and correct me if I'm wrong, this is all about displaying where the issues are, where the potential risks are. Do you do some remediation as well, or do people have to then take a conscious decision, go into that file, and, and basically change so that everything's in order? It depends, um, but really what we're doing is informing the administrator to be able to take remediation uh, to, uh, hold, uh, to uh, put the data in a place where it's no longer accessible by the public, etc. So, exactly, I think that's the, the, the best way as well. We have, we're not just for, we're going to uncover issues, we're going to make better ROI, but we also help business practices. So you can trend what's going on in your data. So this has positive effects to looking at how do I find things, how do I find patterns in my data that improve the business. We're not going to demo that right now, but if people stop by the booth, they'll definitely get to see that. 
Perfect. So, I mean, you guys mentioned uh, getting to a thousand customers. So, obviously, this is going to help get the word out there. What do people need to do if they want to try this software? How do they get in touch with you guys? For, reach out to us on www.datagravity.com, and we'll be happy to put you in touch with the people who can take you through the product so that you understand it deeply. We sell our product through value-added resellers uh, nationally, and we'll put you in touch with a reseller that you choose to fulfill the product with you. So, happy to talk to customers. It should be important that this is a storage array for the first time storage is going to actually tell you what's in the container and everybody else will show you a big black dot or maybe a really cute big black dot or maybe they'll make it green or blue but they're not going to tell you what's in it and knowing what's in your data and getting that as part of your storage you bought it you should know what it is is part of what data gravity is about perfect so you mentioned nationally here in the US is there availability globally already or not initially initially will be uh, North American focus and then we'll continue to grow and become international over time Perfect, but I guess if there's international people, just reach out to you guys and then you can work on a solution over time. Reach out to us through our Contact Us button on our website. Perfect, so I think that's a very good call to action. So if you're US based and you want to get into this, there's an immediate solution for you. If you're international, just contact them through their website and make sure that you're on the list for as soon as they go international, that you can be the first to try this out. So John and Paula, thank you very much. Thank you, Jeremy. Thank you, Jeremy.